I'm Chef Scott, this is Devil's Food Kitchen, and today we're keeping those summer vibes going with strawberry shortcake. Links to all of the equipment I'm using and a printable recipe are in the description below. To begin the strawberry sauce, roughly dice your strawberries, and precision is not needed here. Add the sugar, vanilla, and lemon juice. Once added, toss the mixture to evenly coat the strawberries. Combine the cornstarch and water into a slurry. Add the macerated strawberries and cornstarch slurry to a sauce pot and begin to heat over medium heat while stirring. Let the mixture thicken and just come to a simmer, which will cook out any starch flavor. Transfer the mixture back to a heat safe container, cover with plastic wrap, and let it cool in the refrigerator. The setup for Angel Food Cake starts with a half sheet pan and sill pad. You want to have an angel food pan as well. These have a tube in the center to help the batter rise and feet along the rim so you can invert the cake to let it cool. This pan also has a removable base to make unmolding easier. To start the batter, combine the egg whites, cream of tartar, and salt in a mixing bowl. Then add half of the sugar and begin to whisk on medium speed. While the egg whites begin to whip, go ahead and sift the cake flour. Once the egg whites are at a full foam with no clear albumin, add the remaining sugar in three additions, increasing the mixing speed with each addition. Allow some mixing time between the additions so the sugar can dissolve. Once all of the sugar is added, whisk on high speed just until the meringue hits stiff peaks, and usually this takes just a few minutes. Add the lemon juice, vanilla, and one third of the cake flour. Then gently fold the mixture until the flour is almost incorporated. Add the rest of the flour in two more additions, folding gently until everything is just combined. Carefully spoon the batter into the ungreased cake pan until almost full, about four fifths of the way up. Smooth the top and clean any batter from the rim or tube of the pan. Once out of the oven, invert the cake pan to let it cool. I like to elevate the feet using ramekins or measuring containers as this lets extra airflow under the cake to cool it faster. Once the cake is completely cool, begin to unmold it. I like to use a small offset spatula since a paring knife can scratch the pan. You can also use the flat of the spatula to press the cake towards the center, releasing it from the sides. Run the spatula around the rim of the cake, gradually working down the side. Make sure to keep the blade of the spatula flat against the pan so you don't tear the cake. Once out of the pan, gently rub the browned crust from the sides of the cake, and I think the best way to do this is just with your fingers. 
Before releasing the cake from the tube, trim the top flat. Let the blade do the work and try not to press the knife into the cake. Repeat the process with the center of the tube as the sides. This time I use a paring knife since it's thinner and there's less risk of scratching the tube. Last, release the cake from the bottom of the pan. To make the whipped cream, simply combine all three ingredients and whip until stiff. While the cream is whipping, cut a few strawberries into wedges. I like to cut a couple of the smallest berries in half as well. To plate the shortcake, start with a slice of the angel food cake. Spoon strawberry sauce on and around the cake. Next, add the fresh sliced strawberries followed by a big dollop of whipped cream. This dessert is light, fresh, and really easy to make. It's perfect for summer gatherings. I hope you give it a try. And until next time, I'm Chef Scott. Thanks for watching. Like